I'm going to attempt to reduce the amount of cupramine that's in here right now. Right now it's at a therapeutic dose of uh, uh, 0.55 um, uh, parts per million. So I'm going to attempt to extract about 50% of the water and uh, fill the water up with um, just standard uh, 0.025 uh, salt water uh, and then test it, see how much copper I have in the water and see if that increases their appetite for a while. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that right now. So first I have a one of these great bottle labeled dirty is that so I don't have to worry about anything in this regular siphon that I actually is dedicated to that quarantine towels can't have enough towels as well as rubber gloves because I have sensitive skin and I just don't know anything about uh, cupamine uh, you can download the PDF for the uh, makeup of the chemical uh, on C Chem's website uh, and it doesn't look like it's very toxic so but just in case it might dry my skin out. So now I'm just going to go ahead and just start sucking out the mysis sh shrimp that's uh, uneaten and try to get as much of the uh, I don't know the fecal matter and whatever else is floating at the bottom of the aquarium um, while I uh, suck out the water and try and get 50% of this water out and clean up around it without stressing these poor guys out. I feel bad for these dudes. They're nice fish, and uh, but it's it's an uh, interesting uh, part of this hobby is that you know the fish when they get stressed out, the immune system tends to drop and, uh, and cause issues with the parasites and whatnot that might be. Uh, harboring inside of them and I know these guys definitely have intestinal worms so yeah should be fun <laughs> two inch PVC elbows okay. I just want to get them to the point where they're not going to move too much it is definitely set at 78 degrees line that I drew on the aquarium where I'm supposed to get the water filled to. Right and then it drops slightly when the uh, each of B gets kicked in and primed. I'll slow down the HOV filter. And that should calm things down a bit. So now I'm gonna let this mix for I don't know half hour. And then I'm gonna go ahead and test the water. So I know at least the water cycled. And I'm going to see how much copper is in it. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, mix up a uh, fish food concoction of uh, mice shrimp and pellet, possibly flake food, uh, with a one spoon. Uh, I'll do a teaspoon of that. And then add a spoonful of uh, metronidazole in the uh, form of Metroplex from CCAM and bind that with a food binder uh, branded a Focus. That's also uh, by a Seachem to get the uh, 
the Metroplex uh, combined into the uh, food so I can deworm the fish because they have a uh, uh, white stringy uh, feces uh, coming out still and they are not eating. So they're not eating likely according to the uh, forums um, probably because of the uh, copper and then they still have um, in intestinal worms it appears. So I really like these fish I want to make sure that they uh, that they survive and I can get them into my display tank. So anyways I'm gonna go ahead and I'll, I'll do the test in a second and I'm just gonna go ahead and stop this video.